Hello everyone, my name is Mirko and I'm the head of the Qmetrix support team. Probably you already know Qmetrix as the best monitoring and reporting solution for your asterisk based call center. In case you need to refresh your memory and learn more about what Qmetrix is and what it can do for you, just check out the related videos in the description. Qmetrix Live is the cloud way to work with Qmetrix. We host it, we maintain it, we update it and you just work with it. In this video I will show you how to connect your Yellstar PBX to a Qmetrix Live instance using Uniloader. Uniloader is a little piece of software that takes care of loading the data from your PBX and send it to our server. The other purpose of Uniloader is to dispatch commands sent from Qmetrix to the PBX. Uniloader works with a monodirectional connection. This means that you won't have to set any complicated firewall rules. The only requisite is your PBX being connected to the Internet. If you don't already have a Qmetrix Live instance, the first step will be to connect to the Qmetrix-live.com website and request a free trial. Go into the Try Free page, then compile the form with your data. Once the form is compiled and sent, you will receive a confirmation email with a link to click. Within a few hours, one of our technicians will take care of your request and generate a new Qmetrix Live instance just for you. As soon as your instance is ready, you will receive an email with all the details to connect. You'll need them shortly, so keep them on a note nearby. If you're curious, you can try to connect to your Qmetrix Live instance Copy the URL and use the provided username and password. If you move around and run some reports, you will realize that Qmetrix is quite empty. Go into the System Diagnostic Tools page and open the LiveDB Inspector. You can see from here that at the moment the database is empty. We need to return to our steps and connect our PBX to Qmetrix Live. So now SSH into your Yellstar PBX. Move to the Persistent Directory and download our auto-configurating script. If you now check into the current directory, you'll find a new file called Yestar. Execute it with sh yestar and let it do all the work. At first, it will check for connectivity to our servers. If it happens that you get an error on this step, enter into your Yestar My PBX Administration panel, then fix the DNS options and restart the PBX, and try to run the auto-configurating script again. If connectivity is OK, you'll be asked for your Qmetrix Live ID and password. Confirm that everything is correct and from now on the script will take care of everything. When finished, restart the PBX. The last step will be to set up the AMI connection. Back in Qmetrix, go to the Edit System Parameters page. From this page you will have access to the Qmetrix configuration file. Search for the callfile.dir property and modify it as shown using the username and password of the asterisk manager interface. The IP address will be 127001 because, if you remember, this will be seen from the point of view of Uniloader, which resides locally on the PBX machine. If you don't know the asterisk manager interface, username and password for your PBX, 
you can go into your PBX administration panel and create a new AMI user without the permissions. Go back to the Live Database Inspector. Now you can see that Uniloader is starting pushing data to Qmetrix Live. Once you set up your queues and agents, as explained in the next videos, you can run reports and finally see what's going on in your call center. Now that everything is set up, check out the related videos to know more about configurating and using Qmetrix. Goodbye!